let me get rid of this here, hide it, and I'm convinced we have additional geometry inside here. Let's get rid of <coughs> these edges, backspace, then select this poly and hide it, and yes. Let's delete this one. Let's check on the other side. Looks funny also. Hide this one. And we have another one in here as well. Delete this one too. Okay. Now we have another problem here with the words. So I join these and the same on the other side. Now we should be good. Unhide everything. Let's check again. Select the edge in here. Hold C. That looks much better. <coughs> Shift tab. Mm, I don't like to have these things here. on the edges, so we will bevel these. So I go back to uh, symmetry on the set, hide this, shift tab out, select these polygons, select shift, select these polygons, and now I do a bevel bevel this in just a bit, drop the tool, shift tab, and that looks much nicer. Now you see the spider is on a flat surface and not on the edge directly, so it looks much nicer. So unhide everything, let's put in the drum as well. Shift tap this one and let's make a first quick render to see what we got so far. Put in some nice material, hit the F9 key. That starts to look really good. I think there are certain areas which need some improvement. This here looks a bit bulky. The gap in here is too high and the top of the barrel, I think it's just too massive. So let's get rid of this. Let's delete <coughs> this material and go back to the model tab. Shift tab. Let's first start and go to the side view. I do not follow uh, the backdrop from now on. I just want it to use it for, you know, things like trigger, hammer, uh, <coughs> the grips, dr drum position, length of barrel and so, but the rest is really not so important. And you can put in as much detail as you like. So first I bring this down here, select all these polygons, W key, and make the, it look a bit less massive. Then I can select all these edges here, these here, and make this gap a bit smaller. There is another thing which I don't like when I go to sub D mode you see here this end looks funny so I add in a loop here and this helps immediately 95% is good drop the tool <coughs> now
Next, I guess, we need to work on the front of the barrel. So let's go to the side view and I make two loops. One here, shift click, one here, drop the tool, then I select these polygons down here, perspective, the one here, hit the X key and bevel, uh, sorry, bring <coughs> extrude this down to here. Now I can select these edges, shift up arrow and these two, yes, hit the W key and make this look like so. Drop the tool. Shift tab. Well, that does not look right. <laughs> I think first of all I will select these edges. and these edges shift tap vertex map edge way to let's see how what this brings mm. already better Let's try it on here as well. No, not this way around. On these and these. Shift tap. There is one too much. And one is missing. So, vertex map does not look so good, but it looks better. Maybe some supporting edges will help, like adding one in here. Yeah, looks better. Let's make it 98%. Good. Drop the two. We have still maybe we can put in old C two loops here to help tighten it even more. Yeah, comes better and better. Drop the two. Okay, now let me bring the backdrop item in and hide the body. <coughs> if I look at it, there seems to be some reinforcement part at the uh, beginning of the barrel. I don't know for what this is good, but it will surely add some interesting detail to our model. So let's try to do this. I select these polygons and these polygons. Now hang on, I go to symmetry on the set. <coughs> then turn off symmetry, hit the R key and bring this out a bit, like so. Drop the tool. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Maybe I put in an edge here. 
so drop the two yes this gives some interesting detail I have no clue for what this is good but who knows now let's do something with this here add a loop in here then I select all these polygons, hit the L key, hit the B key, blue handle and bevel this out a bit. Drop the tool. Now <coughs> let me select this and shift hide everything else. Then I select every other polygon here, hit the up arrow key hit the B key to make a small bevel, shift click, blue handle, bring this up a bit to here, drop the tool. Now <coughs> I select an edge in here again, Alt C, count of two, drop the tool. Now I can add some edges in here and in here and add one here and here. Let's see how this looks. Shift tab looks not so bad. This is probably for maintenance purposes I don't know so unhide everything and let's let's make a save save as seven so we are getting closer 